Hello everybody. Today, we will be breaking down the summary of Poppy Playtime, Chapter 2. If you haven't yet, please subscribe or even like. It will help a ton. For now, let's jump right into the video. So, you end up freeing Poppy from Chapter 1. After many puzzles, you soon enter Elliot Ludwig's room, where you can find a collectible lore and a VHS tape. Being soon covered in the next video. You encounter Poppy after Elliot's room where she lets fix the electricity. After some more puzzles, we meet Poppy again looking suspicious down the hole. Then Mommy took Poppy down that hole. With us going next, we soon discover a puzzle. We see a red handprint, only to see that Mommy has grabbed our hand. She tells us to play three games in order to receive Poppy back and get the train code. She opens up the game station, and this is where the real game starts. We have to play a sinister game of Simon Days in order to receive part of the code. Musical memory. We have to listen as the instruction follows. Welcome to musical memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. As longer patterns grow to towards us, we finally win the game. Our player has now finished the game, but do not celebrate so quickly. There is still two more games. A new game has now started. Whack a Wuggy. Basically another sinister game of Whack a Mole, except it's large holes with different colored Wuggies. We now need to listen as these instructions follow. Welcome to Wacka Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. The game starts. With two minutes remaining on time, we finish with the final punch to these Huggies' faces. Only one more game left to play. Or is it? After countless hours pressing Candy Cat's button, we are greeting with an unsettling yellow hallway. We keeping walking until the blue monster has arrived again. Or is it? It's Kissy Missy, Huggy's better half, but she doesn't seem to be attacking. She hesitates. After seeing the lever and looking at our player, she decides to open the gate for us. She leaves but turns around, looking like she has seen us before. But she leaves leaving a load of questions behind. We play the next game, Statues. It's basically red light green light from Squid Game, but it's a pug and a caterpillar. We play the last game as the instructions play. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. 
The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. We played the game until we tried to cheat and broke one of the windows on top of the game. We go down a little hole. We are meted with an underground factory that was tilted to the side. We see this puzzle. It looks like the place Huggy fell. Could he still be alive? We are just casually crawling through the vents until we are seen in a horror environment. As we try to get to the grab bar, Mommy has came to face us once and for all, saying that we cheated and we have to play one last game, hide and seek one. She becomes more sinister and counts from 10, making us have to go run and hide without cheating. She stops counting for a while, but then going to have to chase us again. We hid from mommy as she tries to find us, but went to another place. We face mommy one last time as greeted with an epic chase scene. Here, take a look. So we open the emergency door, but we didn't escape just yet. We meet in a long mommy long legs themed hallway. We scan the blueprint until mommy long legs appears in this hallway. Here take a listen. A large claw comes out from the other side of the factory, grabbing mommy long legs and taking her back. We finally defeated mommy long legs, and we receive the final part of the code and receive Poppy. We save Poppy, she asked if we killed mommy long legs. We now have to board the train to escape the factory once and for all, or that's what we thought. We have not escaped, but Poppy says some pretty creepy stuff here take a listen. I was so scared she put me back in that case. But you saved me. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. I've never met anyone like you. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you're capable. We will. What? After Poppy's dialogue, 
the train starts to speed up. We need to stop the train immediately. We fell asleep again, but we see a sign. Our vision was strong enough to see. Play care. Hi. Are you subscribed? Click this subscribe button. Thank you for subscribing.